Hello, Blue Room friends. Today we're going to be doing a science experiment to see if some items that I've gathered um, from around my house will sink in this tub of water or float. Um, sinking in the water means that they will go to the bottom of the tub underneath the water and floating will mean that they will stay on top of the water. So we are going to need um, some items from around you, um, your home. If you're going to do this experiment at home, um, you can use whatever you'd like. Um, this is just what I found. Make sure that anything you use can get wet. Um, some of the things I have, like the feather and the cotton ball and the crayon, will be ruined when I put them in the water, but I have more feathers and cotton balls and crayons, so I am okay um, throwing them away when I am done with my experiment. Um, you will also need some paper towel to dry off um, the things that you're going to keep um, and a place to set your wet items when you take them out of the water. Let's start with this plastic egg. Do we think that the plastic egg will sink, go to the bottom of the water, or float, stay on top of the water? You can tell your mommy or daddy your answer, and let's put it in and find out. It's floating. It's staying on top of the water. Okay, let's do this wrench. Do we think that the wrench will sink, go to the bottom of the water, or float, stay on top of the water? Tell your mommy or daddy your guess. It sank. It went to the bottom of the water. Let's talk about why. The plastic egg is very light it is lighter than the water. The metal wrench is heavy. It is heavier than the water. Next, let's do this rock. Do you think that this rock will sink, go to the bottom of the water, or float, stay on top of the water? Have you shared your answer? Let's find out. It sank too. The rock is also heavier than the water. It went to the bottom of the tub. Next, let's try the feather. Do you think the feather will sink, go to the bottom of the water, or float, stay on top of the water? Let's find out. Oh, it's floating. It's staying on top of the water. Next, let's see what happens when we put the crayon in the water. Do you think it will sink, go to the bottom, or float, stay on top? sank it went to the bottom what's next let's try the cotton ball do you think the cotton ball will sink go to the bottom or float stay on top first it starts on top and then it slowly sinks to the bottom that one surprised me when I tried it. I thought that the cotton ball would float, but my hypothesis, my guess was incorrect. And that's okay, that's what science is all about, is learning new things. Here is a fork, a metal fork with a plastic frog on top. Do you think that the fork will sink, go to the bottom, or float, stay on top. Okay, let's find out. 
this one is really interesting and I'll try to show you. The metal fork sank to the bottom, but the plastic frog is trying to float to the top. Do you see that? The metal sank, but the plastic is trying to float to the top. That's pretty cool. We have two more items here. We have a plastic bag, like you would put a sandwich in. Do you think that this bag will sink, go to the bottom, or float, stay on the top? It floats. It stayed on the top. Last, we have a coaster, a plastic coaster that you use to set your drinks on. Do you think that the coaster will sink, go to the bottom, or float, stay on the top? Let's find out. It sank slowly, but it sank to the bottom. Okay, let me know if you guessed some of these right, if you guessed what you guessed right, what you guessed wrong. Um, remember, it's okay if your guess, your hypothesis is incorrect, is wrong, because you're learning. You're, you have to do the experiment to know what the answer is. And then if you do this experiment at home, let me know what you um, tested and what your results were. Have fun, Blue Room. Bye-bye.